Today I'll share with you how I use Fusion 360 to create a 3D logo. Um, I added some text in Fusion 360, selected size, I knew it was about 70 millimeters, so that's the size I wanted. Typed in my letters, L and J, and the font that I had that I need to select explode text to be able to select the individual items. And then you go and you remove the constraints. You'll see that they're all blue. Then I went and I created um, an offset for the base. So I made it a to overlap. Once I did that, then I selected the inside and I created an offset for the inside. This is so that I can uh, print a, a bit of a lip for the caps that I want to put on top. And you repeat this for each of the letters. Now I selected the letter L and I extruded a small base of two millimeters. I'm printing these individually, so I'll be sticking them together, but I just needed a base um, to start with at the bottom. And then I named each of the sections, if each of the bodies, what they were called, base L, base M, base J, and uh, that just makes it easier when you export it later. I selected the outside area and then extruded that. So you say create, extrude, extrude about 20 millimeters. As you can see, Select it again, uh, select the inside lip and extrude that for about uh, 10 millimeters. So that, that gives you a base where the caps will fit on top of. I went through this process with all of them. I even added some holes. That's just uh, adding bits and extruding bits, etc. Um, and then I also created the, the caps, which is just the insides um, moved to a different plane and extruded there as well. And then I created inserts, so I have white inserts to be able to reflect the light. Then you select the body, say export to SDL, and it saves it as an SDL file that you can pull into your uh, slicer. I'm using Cura, so I sliced it with Cura. The next day. The next day, I prepped the LED strips and uh, lots of soldering, etc. Sorry for the focus. The focus is off a bit. What a focus. <clears throat> Then I glued the inserts uh, into the inside of the, the letters that I printed. I already glued them all together so they made one big black holder and then I put the white inserts on the inside. And the idea is that uh, you can get the light to reflect from the LEDs that I'm going to be putting in. Then I installed WLED on the D1 Mini little 8266 uh, processor. Uh, once it's installed, all the lights came on just to show that it is actually working. Then you connect to the WLED access point or AP that's running on the thing. Um, once you can connect it to that, you can configure your Wi-Fi that you want to connect to and then you can take it from there. Now it is time to assemble all the little bits. So I stuck the LEDs on the inside. Taking the paper, sticky paper off was quite, quite tricky, but eventually it, I got it working. 
time to solder all the little bits together. Uh, ground, 5 volt and data connected. Push it into a little uh, unit that I printed. Got an enclosure, put the caps on. It's supposed to be friction fit but some tolerances are sometimes off so this one I had to print uh, glue uh, the thing together and this is my wiring done with the WLED app on your phone you can control it and this is my final result